Okay, hey Taurus, so this is going to be a general reading. Taurus, I'm getting like somebody around you can't hold water. That's what I'm getting. Um, I'm being drawn to that scene on Friday when he told Ezel not to say nothing and Ezel went out and said, told everybody, whatever. So I don't know. I'm getting it could be somebody in your camp or somebody around you. I'm also getting something in regards to elopement or something in regards to marriage is significant. I'm getting like if you did something in secrecy or you went off and did something, I don't know what this is. Something was supposed to like be secret. That's what I'm getting. This could even be like um, while I'm getting elopement and oh somebody um like you got a bunch of people that's either trying to figure out who you are or who you married or something like that here yeah what's going on here mm -hmm. uh um this could be a group this could be a group oh it's a group like somebody's trying to crack some type of code here so there's a group that's trying to crack some type of code here that's what i'm getting that's what this is um yeah this is a community of people i don't know uh, something going on online here. Like maybe you're just a private person and you stay to yourself. Um, while I'm getting like, get ready for the, I don't know why I'm getting a dog and pony show. Dog and pony show. Maybe you can have pets or you do something. There. I don't know. Um, yeah, what's going on here? I'm not going to make this long. Yeah. Somebody's trying to figure out. I don't know, it's something in regards to like your legacy or your inheritance or uh, while your family, somebody may tell your family. So like if you got married in secrecy and you was like, yo, don't tell whoever in this family, this person did exactly what you told them not to do and went and told somebody in this family. And now everybody's about to find out. So this is somebody that's close to you. While I'm getting don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. So maybe you confide in somebody like a um you confided in somebody close to you and you was like, don't tell mom. Like you went out and eloped. I'm getting like you made some type of hasty decision here. And somebody is like, I'm telling, <laughs> I'm telling mom. I don't know. Somebody is like, either somebody is going to tell your parent or somebody is going to tell, and I'm getting your older. You're older, like you're not, a, you're an adult. And this is somebody that's like, no, like, I don't know. Maybe somebody's concerned or somebody feels like, oh, somebody feels like you got bamboozled or you got manipulated or you got tricked. I'm getting into getting married. And this person that's going to report to somebody is a, a part of your family and concerned about a legacy or an inheritance. Like something is tied to, it's something that you and this person are connected to. And this person doesn't want who you married to take some that they built. So this could be like a family owned business and yo, somebody in your family does not trust who you married. That's what I'm getting. Why I'm getting this person could be intuitive. Maybe somebody knows that you're going to be done underhanded somewhere down the road or something. I don't know, but like you're just in some YOLO energy. Like you did some kind of hasty without thinking you're in some YOLO energy. You're like, I'm just going to get out here and, and see what happens. So you married this person because like you just like you felt like this was your person or whatever this is. But I'm getting down the line. It's going to be some type of financial issues or the dividing of some type of legacy or inheritance or some type of, I don't know, this is weird. And it's going to be because of a, a series of events here. I'm getting like people turning on each other in this family, but it's all because of some type of elopement. Like some type of elopement is going to cause a bunch of people in a family unit to turn on each other. Or maybe this is you deciding to get away from a family unit because you feel like your family is not accepting of your lover or something like that. But, oh yeah, somebody told you you was dumb for doing it.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Somebody you you work with or you got a family owned business with somebody that you're close to. This could be a sibling. This is like a family member or somebody that's younger, like a family member that's younger than you. But this person is, I don't know. Wow. Somebody, I don't even want to speak on this. I'm getting somebody, if somebody ends up falling out or some type of mess going on here, it's like, be mindful in regards to the decisions that you're making because there is a karmic or somebody that may try to take somebody for everything that they have. And whoever this person is that you got this family owned business with, this person is concerned about their portion of the family owned business. That's what I'm getting. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Somebody you work with is not happy with a decision that you made. And you're like, yo, I'm grown. I can go make my own decision. Somebody feels like you was under some type of heavy spell work to go out and elope like this. This could be a sibling of yours or somebody that's a family member of yours or something. I don't know. But somebody's like, yo, what did you do? What's going on here? This could also be something you dealt with here in the past. Yeah, like... Oh, I'm getting people are going to start turning on each other and walking away from each other. Yeah, some like sparked a series of events. And some type of disagreement in regards to a decision that somebody made. Maybe this is somebody bringing somebody into a business here as well. So if you have a family owned business or you're already like you built a business and you're established and you bring in a third party, you can have like somebody that you work with that's going to be upset. But like somebody may end up walking away from another person or like going solo. Somebody's going to go solo. Whoever this person is that's going solo, this person's like, yo, you ain't about to take all my, uh, what I built. So somebody wants to go solo. So if this is somebody that you own a business with, this person wants to go solo. This person doesn't want to be attached to you or like somebody wants to separate the family business. And it's all because a series of events that like a decision that you made to go bring a third party into this, whatever this is, or you went out and you eloped or whatever this is. I don't know. Yeah, I'm also being drawn to like, this little, I don't know, that looks like a defect up in the corner. I don't know. Um, On this card. um, You could have, I'm getting something in regards. You know how you leave a, like a piece of paper laying on something, a surface, and you waste something on that paper, and then that imprint gets stuck? Uh, Wow, imprint. Maybe you imprinted on somebody. I don't know. Somebody feels like you're under some type of heavy manipulation by somebody you elope with. But you feel like this is your person. That's what I'm getting. Um, Yeah. Somebody. This person may not even. Like somebody's just going to walk away. Like you may have somebody that's, that loves you. This person has a lot of love for you. This person wants you to be happy. But somebody feels like a decision that you made. Like you made it in like some hasty energy. And this person may, for some, this person may just walk away from you and decide they want to go solo and is not going to tell you why. Somebody's not going to tell you why. That's what I'm getting. Get the camera to focus. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, uh, somebody's not going to tell you why. Somebody's just going to decide they want to go solo. And it's really because this person is trying to protect their inheritance or their legacy or some. I don't know. This person knows some type of information. I don't know about this person you went and eloped with. And somebody's like, no, I'm getting up out of this business deal before it goes south. Um, What's going on here? Yeah. This person, somebody is hiding how they really feel. This could be somebody that you have a lot of love for. And this person has a lot of love for you. Somebody may feel like you made a very like foolish decision. But this person loves you. So this person's not going to tell you that like what you did was not a wise thing to do. But if this person loves you, this person will be honest. 
But maybe this person doesn't want to hurt your feelings. Like, what's done is done. If you went out and got eloped or you did whatever this is you did, like, what's done is done. What's the point in telling you that your decision was foolish? It's your life to live. It's your life to live. If you're in this YOLO energy, this is your life to live. Um, Somebody, oh, this person doesn't want to watch you destroy your life. So this person is moving away from you. Mm. This is a family member of yours that you, like, you got a family on business with. You went out, or this is just a family member of yours that cares about you a lot. You went out and you eloped with a karmic. Or you did something foolish, rushed, whatever this is. And a family member of yours knows that the decision that you made was foolish, but this person loves you, so this person's not going to say anything. This person's just like, yo, if you're happy, I'm happy. Maybe you're shocked that this person is happy for you. This person does feel like you made a foolish decision, but somebody is happy for you. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, but this person may walk away because somebody knows, like somebody knows what's going to be the outcome of this situation and somebody doesn't want to see it. Like this person has the gift of like, like somebody is very intuitive or this person just knows like this is somebody that knows you and your lover or you and this person that you're connected to or you went off and eloped with. Like, I don't know. Oh, Wow. Um, I hear motorcycles outside. Maybe somebody's a part of some type of motorcycle club. Could be you, somebody you're dealing with here. Um, you know, it's hidden that at the end of this situation, somebody's not going to be the king of pentacles. But it's, you're going to recover, but I don't, I'm, I might not even put this message out there because like, I'm really getting tired of picking up on this energy. And at the end of the day is your life. You make whatever decisions you make. You want to go out and elope and marry somebody that, well, I'm getting that you barely even know that's your business. I mean, sometimes those relationships do go well. So, but for some, this is a family member of yours. That's like somebody is this, Ooh. Somebody is disassociating, like somebody wants to separate the business. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody's like, oh, no, bro. Uh, okay, bro. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Take it how it resonates. Uh, somebody's like, yo, you could have eloped with a karmic that... Somebody that you're in business with thought you was done with. And that's like the final straw for this person. That's the final straw for this person. I don't know. Maybe this person of yours thought that like you was done with whoever this karmic is that you went out and eloped with. But you weren't. You were secretly still dealing with this person. Creeping with this person. Or I don't know what. This is this is strange. But you went out and eloped. And somebody's like, no, that's the final straw. I'm not going to sit here and watch whatever... This is when you was in some karmic energy. I'm speaking to a masculine energy. Oh, we. Look, somebody's like, no, I can't. I wish you the best. I love you. I got a lot of love for you, but I can't sit here. I can't sit here and see how you destroy the family business by aligning yourself with this karmic that you elope with. Because, wow. I'm also getting people are going to figure some people are going to figure it out. People are going to, like, people is some type, you got a group of people that are, like, bound and determined to figure out who you elope with. You got somebody else that's, um, mm -hmm. this person, um, you hide Oh, you may try to hide. You know what I'm getting. This is all like it's laid out right here. It's like somebody went out and eloped and they did it hastily. But they was in like this person was in some type of like I'm getting puppy, puppy love or the puppy dog phase of a relationship. And this person did this uh, fast forward. Whoever this is, you have a business with. 
this person is like somebody is like no like somebody is very wise or very intuitive or somebody doesn't trust the person that you elope with this person is deciding they want to go solo before this person that you elope with or you married here destroys the family business um when this person does destroy this family business somebody's no longer going to be this emperor this king of pentacles Somebody's going to be knocked down to the page of pentacles and it's going to have to, um, like, I don't know, but you may hide this. You may hide that you feel like you secretly married or whatever this is, the wrong person or went to business with the wrong person. I'm ending this. Yeah. It's like somebody is going to. I don't know. Maybe this is somebody's pride. Somebody's pride. Somebody was like, yeah, this is my person. Was hastily in some hasteful energy and ran out and eloped. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know. In the, Wow. Okay, some type of betrayal here. Um, mm, what's going on here? Mm, 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 mm. I'm ending this reading. This is really sad. Like I said, I'm not even sure. I'm going to put this reading out here, Taurus. Somebody's going to get betrayed by the person they decided to, like, connect with, work with, marry, elope with, whatever this is. You got somebody that's not going to be like I told you. So this person just decided to move on with their life. Somebody's like, no, I'm not going to sit there and watch uh, you uh, while destroy your life or destroy um mm -hmm. wow give me just a second okay sorry about that yeah we have build on build on solid grounds reflect on your truth and strengthen your gifts um yeah, that was a lot but i don't know it's like you're happy if you're happy that's all that matters yeah do all things in moderation um Wow, I'm getting somebody rushed into something without thinking. And in the end, it's going to be a karmic lesson. But it's a lesson that had to be learned by this person. For some, this is somebody like you are the person that this into this is this is in regards to somebody that you are connected to. So for some, this could be in regards to somebody that you have a family owned business with. And this person went and went into business with a third party or eloped or married a third party that's going to in turn like destroy the family business or something like that. And yeah, you knew, <laughs> you knew. Mm -hmm. You feel like this person, like somebody can't even, like it's not the same. Something is not the same. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. I'm going to end this reading, Taurus. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you. Um, Taurus, one thing I've learned just over in life period you got to let people make their own decisions and however the situation turns out that's how it turns out you can warn somebody but that's as much as you can do uh don't get yourself involved in this if this is something that you're dealing with and you decided you want to go solo because you're watching somebody um mm -hmm. you're watching the person that you built a family-owned business with work with a karmic or somebody married a karmic i'm getting somebody eloped with a karmic and this karmic is trying to align herself with i'm getting your circle your inner circle the people you are connected to um i'm getting all of that i'm getting how you make your money your bank accounts your finances your um i don't know why i'm getting something in regards to a wheel here as well um, somebody's trying to get in good, get in the family. And somebody is like going to, I'm getting somebody's a wolf in sheep's clothing here, Taurus. And you notice, know you notice know because you're intuitive or like I said, this is somebody that you built. You're like, you're business savvy. You're business, like you're very wise when it comes to 
because this is something you've been doing for years. So you could be a business owner or you built an empire with this person. Um, it took you years to build this empire. I'm getting since you were a page, you've been building an empire with this person. And it's like you already know somebody the way it's the moves that somebody is making. Um, I don't know. This is really sad. This is really sad. I'm ending this reading here towards best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you.